Uh, here we have one of our monitoring stations. So we operate a monitoring network that extends all the way from uh, Horseshoe Bay in the west to Hope in the east. And this is one of the stations that is part of our network. Uh, this is in Burnaby. And it is sort of representative of what you would see at any of our other monitoring locations. So this is uh, what you would typically see at one of our stations. Um, these are all the instruments that, that are collecting information on different pollutants. Uh, and this is representative of what you would see at one of our other locations. Uh, this data is collected uh, in real time. Uh, and you can see on a display here in the station, uh, this data is sent back to us at head office and is part of our decision-making process when we are looking to issue advisories uh, and inform the public on current air quality conditions here. Uh, so up here we have uh, uh, a monitor for all of our meteorological instruments. So we collect wind speed, uh, wind direction, temperature, relative humidity, and that's controlled through this box here. Right here is a PM10 monitor. Uh, so this is monitoring for particulates uh, that are 10 microns or less. This is, uh, this is powering one of our uh, canisters, which is collecting a whole suite of pollutants. It's collected um, on uh, three to six day schedule. This is a total reduced sulfur uh, and uh, sulfur dioxide monitor. And uh, both of those are um, used to, to monitor uh, uh, sulfur in the atmosphere. And this is the central computer that collects all that information in real time. So right here, um, you know, we aren't monitoring for the fine particulate matters, but we do have the, the PM10, which is a slightly larger set of particles. Uh, currently, we are under a, an air quality advisory, and the air quality across the region is quite poor. Uh, and we are seeing that reflected in the data that we're uh, collecting, not just from this station, but other stations throughout our network. Uh, and we expect these conditions to persist for the next few days until we have a change in the weather conditions.